What is up my kaijus? Welcome back to our second episode of our Pokemon Yellow Randomized Nuzlocke. And I got my Pikachu shirt on today just in commemoration of this and we're gonna jump right into it. Last episode we got our Pokemon. Let's do a quick recap of that. We have our Benjamin, the Bell Sprout Grass Poison type. Attack 18, 12, Defense 11, Speed and 18, Special. And it knows Vine Whip and Growth. Growth has no use, absolutely no use right now. I cannot wait till it starts learning Spore moves because that's definitely going to help us out. I did not get the I, the uh, town map here. Grandpa asked you to run an errand? Here, this will help you. Zilla got a town map. Yo, she flirting with us. But yeah, this, this shirt is to commemorate us playing Pokemon Yellow. I should have worn it last episode. But I did not because I completely forgot. I just wanted to jump into recording this. And uh, here we go. Here we go. So Nuzlocke, per Nuzlocke rules, it does not start until we get Pokeballs. But I am really ex ex excited about the fact that there are War Turtle here. Holy shit. You guys do not understand the importance of that. Let's check out. Let's see what else we can find in the grass because... It's not like this second town is really far away. Diglets? I did play the game with Doug Drio one time, and Doug Drio is a ballsy Pokemon to play with because he just gets wrecked by a lot of things in this game. So, yeah, no, it's definitely really cool to do that. And we're just gonna keep walking around a little bit. Oh my goodness, Staryu's. I freaking love Staryu as well. There's so many good Pokemon to catch. Now the issue is not hitting them hard enough to kill them. That is the main issue. We're going to level up here. Level 9. Uh, when does Bellsprout learn the Spore moves? Level 10? Because if that's the case, I might do a little bit of grinding to get her there. To get him there. To get Benjamin there to that point. And then we could go on. How much EXP does, do we get from Diglets? That's the thing. Diglets, we got about 40, 36 to 40. 46 so if we find a bunch of diglet so let me speed jolteons holy shit that is sick i would love a jolteon that thing gets does not die too uh two hits kills it so we leveled up faster than i thought we were going to okay when does bellsprout learn these moves man my phone's all the way over there um uh, I don't want to start the Nuzlocke without having these moves because we're just going to kill things when we go to our encounters and that's not what I'm looking for. You know, I want to be able to catch my Pokemon safely and securely and oh shit Benjamin. Benjamin putting the work. Hitmonchan. I don't think we're going to be able to knock this out before we move on. Oh my goodness. Benjamin put in the finest of work. Level 11. Let's... All right, we gotta go heal because we need that exp do, that exp do. So hopefully we can get at least two encounters this episode and then move on from there. And then maybe you'll see a little bit of a grinding montage in that in the next episode, showing us leveling up our Pokemon, and you we can move on safely without without any issues or repercussions. So let's go up here and get that item that's over yonder. And we got a no yo, that is a huge positive for us early in this game. To get a nugget, that's five thousand gold coins for your boy right here. Zilla Zilla is going to take it to the next level. We're going to take it to the limit. Coffee on now. I feel great. Sure, you can go through. I'm sorry, I was so rude to you. I see your Pokedex you're using. I'll show you how to catch Pokemon as my. Grandpa, I don't need this. Yo, he caught a wheezing? What? What? Just threw a Pokeball at that wheezing? No ifs, ands, or buts about it. He just like, Pokeball, go. All right, we're going to sell this nugget real quick, right quick, so we can make sure we have enough money to buy a crap ton of freaking Pokeballs. That is what I'm talking about. But let's go back to training. Let's see a little bit more Pokemon before we make our move to get some new Pokemon. 
So we're just gonna go a little fast here because that only makes sense and I don't want to leave y'all hanging like that, you know? Yo, Bellsprout just wrecks everything in this game. Yo, Nita Renos. Holy shit. Oh, man. Nita Renos are a good choice, too. But yeah, no, I'm sorry if that, that bothers us speeding up. I'm not, I'm gonna try to reduce speeding up as much as I can. But if I, if I have to, I'm not too worried about it. Unfortunately, because it only makes sense to speed up during certain parts. And the grinding is not too hard in this game. Especially when you get to beat up Pokemon that you know you can win against. Especially like, I'm, I'm, rap, oh crap. Literally, oh crap. I'm trying to make sure I have some, uh, some flower moves real quick, you know? Some, you know, like, leech, not leech seed, but, uh, come on. Give me, give me at least sleep powder. If I can get sleep powder on my bell sprout before we move on, I'd be really excited. I'd be really happy about it. Because it makes life so much easier to catch, as I said, to catch Pokemon. Things will change. S the series will change. It will just be a huge positive. Again, we're going to fast forward again. I'm sorry if this really does bother you, but it doesn't bother me too much. But I don't. I really don't mind doing this because... Oh, man, that Jolteon survived. Poison powder? Oh, you got to be kidding me. It only learned poison powder? Don't do that to me. It only learned poison powder. All right. Well, at least we can catch some Pokemon. The whole issue now is, are we going to kill them with poison? And what happens if we poison a Pokemon? The Pokemon dies while being poisoned. That is the question. Now, that is the question. I still assume that you still lose that Pokemon even though you've caught it. Because that is your fault, you know? That is your fault for not being able to catch that Pokemon without killing it, unfortunately. That's a roundabout way of thinking about it, but nonetheless, it is still probably the most correct way. I'm gonna get about. We're gonna get 25 balls. That still leaves us enough money to get at least five potions here, and then a couple antidotes, just in case I do poison these Pokemon. And we won't kill them with uh, the poison. <laughs> That's the thing. So, before we jump into getting our encounters, there are two encounters that we can get here. This route that we just hopped off of, and then to the left of this area. So, let's, uh, let's go down here, and let's see who our next teammate is going to be. Oh, I killed them all. They're not coming out. They're just, like, really scared now. They're really scared now. Nah. Oh snap, it's a Diglett. I don't mind Diglett. Diglett is a really good Pokemon, especially if you use him for his speed instead of his uh, first strength. I have no idea what I want to do. So we're going to just Poison Powder it. Hopefully we can just do some damage, a little bit of damage here and there, and then eventually catch it. Oh crap, whoops. I'm going to switch over to Growth here and see what we can do because I don't want to hit him with anything because that means we lose our encounter and I gotta also keep track of our encounters as well so we don't accidentally catch Pokemon on the same route multiple times so here we go I'm gonna get my trusty Zelda book out and oh you guys want to see the Zelda book here look at it's pretty sick it's from GameStop GameStop has some good shit sometimes. I got this on sale. So, let's let's mark this up. Pokemon Yellow Randomized Encounters. So our first encounter on Route 1 was a Diglett. So there you go, there you go. That is a positive for us. I want to know what we're going to name him. So we're going to use one more growth and throw a Pokeball at it now. Uh, I don't want to, as I said, I don't want to kill it. And I at least want to have enough HP to get back. So Pokeball, here we go. Fear, fear Benjamin. 
and we caught our Diglett. Diglett is going to be named our male, another male Pokemon. Not because of what you think. Hold on. It prefers dark places. It spends most of its time underground, though it may pop up in caves. And yes, of course we have to nickname our Diglett. And I'm gonna... Oh no, you know what, I'm gonna... This is, this is an homage to... This is an homage to the Alolan Diglett. And we're gonna name our Diglett Fabio. So, <laughs> Fabio the Diglett has been added to the squad. I gotta go make sure we heal Fabio before we get any any uh, death ensues. Hold on, let's see. Let's just make sure he has eight left. So eight, seven, six, five, four, three. All right, cool. We made it back just in time, just in time. So we got our that's our set, that's our first encounter. I'm really excited about that. So. Now we're gonna go head over to the Pokemon League area and go get that encounter because man, we might be able to get one more encounter in this episode. Cause it's not this game is not terribly too terribly difficult. I don't think I'd change the level cap in this game at all. I should have probably have come over here to check on um, to check on what Pokemon were in this area. So maybe I save them for later, depending on how tough they are. Uh, there's supposed to be an item here, wasn't there? Uh, I don't remember. But let's march our way back. Let's uh, let's take a leap of faith. Here we go. Let's see. Oh snap! Right where we came in, it's going to be a war turtle. What? Oh shit! Ah, that makes me so excited. That makes me so excited. I gotta figure out the name, what route that is. War. Tor. Tull. Okay, so we have to be a little bit careful. Hopefully this War Turtle doesn't know any... Oh, it knows Bubble. Fuck. Oh my goodness. Whew! I thought that was gonna kill Fabio. Thank God it didn't. And this is, uh... This is Viridian Town, I believe. The encounters for Viridian Town, so so that's a positive. We're gonna hit hit. Oh my goodness, this is so tough. It was gonna poison powder again. It didn't affect him. What? It doesn't affect War Turtle. What? What you talk about, Willis? What you talk about, Willis? All right, let's raise our growth. Maybe his regular attack is stronger than our special attack. Our sp I have no idea. His defense is stronger than our, our special attack, so maybe that's canceling it out. I have no idea. Uh, I, oh, okay, so this is not going to work. You know what? Let's see. Let us see. I missed. Oh my goodness. So, let's heal up Fabio, because he is probably going to be our best bet. To, to take down this this war turtle as because as you guys know the Nuzlocke has started so we don't want to be caught in a predicament scratch let's go tackle again it's gonna oh that sucks all right one more potion on Fabio so we can get one more hit on Benjamin on, on war turtle here and so disheartening. All right, we'll switch out. Let's go, Benjamin. Let's go, Benjamin. Use your fear. All right, let's poke. Let's poke ball it up. One, two, three. Yes! Fuck yes! We freaking caught ourselves a war turtle. Level three war turtle. Holy shit! When tapped, this Pokemon will pull in its head. But its tail will still stick out a little bit. Of course. And our war turtle is going to be a female war turtle. Because I remember in Pokemon Gold, I did have a war turtle and a Totodile on the same squad. And we named her Karen. Because our war turtle was so caring. 
Holy shit. Guys, I did not expect that. I did not to... Like, I wasn't expecting to get anything good this episode, and boom, this game surprised me. Holy shit, holy shit. I am so happy that we have a War Turtle on the squad now. Because that makes life so much easier for a little bit. So now we have two types of Pokemon that can take on the, the gym leaders here. Uh, especially if they stay the same typing. But you know this game. You know how randomized Nuzlocke's work. They do not do that whatsoever. So, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. Let's check out the name of the route. So hopefully we don't have to get rid of of War Turtle. Viridian. The Eternal City. I'm assuming this is Viridian. Because on the town map... Let's pull this up. Let's pull this up right here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's it's still saying this Viridian city. So, and then... Hold on. Because I remember you have to go through this in a certain way. Route 22. So we're going to call it Route 22. Route 22. So we got our Route 22 encounter. Because that's where you fight Gare Bear, our, our king, again. So, War Turtle was, name was Karen. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we have done something absolutely phenomenal. We caught two encounters this episode. We trained up our freaking Benjamin. Benjamin is killing it. But we, you know what we gotta do next. We gotta head over to the next town. We're gonna take on a gym leader next episode catch some encounters along the way but ladies and gentlemen i would like to thank you guys for coming out if you enjoyed today's episode please hit that like button down below if you want to see more of my beautiful face and more of this beautiful series come please join the kaiju clan we're just a group of monsters trying to take over the world and i hope you have a wonderful night peace